Yeah, what? Guess where we are? Where, Mom? The airport! <laughs> That's cool. Where are you going? Well, we're coming to see you. Oh, oh. Is everything all right? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Uh, should I meet you for dinner? No, honey, we're at your airport. Your father and I are in a cab with Arul. He is so sweet. Say hi, Arul. Can you please just give me the address? Oh, right, of course. Audrey, honey, what's the address? Uh... I don't have time for this. Hey, my parents are coming here in 15 minutes. Your parents are coming here? Great. Now I can tell them about how you called me a cold and heartless bastard. No, stop. No, they think that I still live here. And, and if they find out the truth, then they're going to take away my debit card. And I'm living out of my car, so I don't really know wait, how wait, wait. I could afford for them Slow to take down. away my debit Slow card. Slow down. Your parents still think that you're living here with me? Yes. Did you tell them we broke up and that- No, they think that we're still together. And then I have my job with the newspaper. Look, this is exactly the problem with you, Audrey. You're never honest with anyone. I mean, your own parents don't even freaking know oh what you're- Oh my god. I am not going to have this conversation with you, George. They're coming in 15 minutes, so I'm moving my stuff here. Look. I'm sorry. No. No, you're not sorry. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not. I'm not sorry. Because you're the one who kicked me out, George. You should be apologizing to me. Good talk. Um, I, I might have told my parents that you proposed to me. You fucking what? Well, you were always so nice to them, George. You were like the only one of my boyfriends who's ever nice to them. You used to be so nice. was little, we couldn't even convince her to clean her room. She was so disorganized, it was a wonder she even kept track of anything. <laughs> yep, well, we all have to grow up sometime. <laughs> couldn't agree more, even if some of us grow up later than others. Okay, do you want to go to lunch now? <laughs> Already? They haven't even seen your room That's yet. That's oh. really not necessary. <laughs> of course it is. First bedroom on the right. 
half as organized as this living room, I'll be amazed. Well, that figures. Well, they say you should always surround yourself with the people that inspire you the most. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Mrs. Wolf. <laughs> and Audrey inspires me every day. So sweet of you, George. You know, George used to inspire me. Keyword, used to. <laughs> well, would uh, either of you like some coffee? Yeah, yes. That would be lovely, wouldn't it, Richard? Oh, uh, yes, dear. <laughs> Great, I'll uh, just go get a pot going if you guys want to just head on over to the living room. Do I still inspire you, Georgie? Tremendously. How about you keep inspiring me, and we'll see how it turns out for you. So, Audrey, how's, uh, how's work going? Fine. Uh, I'm taking photos for this new ad. I'm sorry, I thought you worked for the newspaper. Yeah, so did I. Um, I've just been picking up some extra work on the side. This freelance guy, he's really nice. What's so nice about him? I don't know, he's just nice. So, um, what do you do for this nice, uh... Freelance guy. Freelance guy. Um, I just take photos. What exactly are you taking photos of? I don't know. Things in the city, like... Uh, big things. Um, like the downtown area? Yes, yes, like the downtown area. Audrey? Mm hmm Honey? What's really going on here? <laughs> All right, Mrs. Wolf. I'll tell you what's Shut really up, George. Um, Mom? Dad? I lost my newspaper job. The company had to downsize, so they let me go. And that night, George and I got into a fight, so now I don't live with him anymore. Wait, if you don't live here, then my where car. are you? But it's fine because it's autumn, so the weather's really nice. And I spent most of my time applying for jobs anyway. Oh, and the the homeless people by the can fires are really nice. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you're homeless and jobless? Yep. Why the hell didn't you tell us this? You know we would have helped. Oh my god, what could you have done to help me? Besides give me a stupid debit card. I worked my ass off to pay for that. Oh my card. god, you're always talking about how much you sacrifice and, and and how much you want me to be like you. I'm not like you. You don't have to be like me to realize you shouldn't be living in your fucking car. All right, Richard. Audrey, sweetheart, we have always supported you, just in different ways. I supported you at home, and your father supported you through his work. But we're going to keep supporting you, because we love you. That's never going to change. And that means we don't want you living in your fucking car. So do I get to keep the debit card? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're taking that. What? <laughs> Just because we love you does not mean we trust you. <laughs> you haven't called us in half a year. Hard to trust someone when you don't know what they're up to. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Well, you could always move back home. Our flight leaves tomorrow. We can get you a ticket if you want. Are you suggesting I move back in with you guys? You don't have to move back in with us. You can make your own decisions. You always have. We're just throwing the offer out there. 
And at the very least, it would be nice to spend some time just catching up. It's been too long. Okay. Right then. George, mind if Audrey leaves her car here while she's gone? I should rather. Great, it's settled then. Audrey, get packing. My baby. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's get packing. Listen, I've been through a lot of breakups, son. And no matter how nasty they get, there isn't one I haven't made peace with over the years. So, might as well start now. Well, so long, George. Good luck in the future. See ya. All right, dear, what's the plan? You know, um, someday I might actually miss this place. Mom, Dad, wait up! What's up guys, thank you guys so so much for checking out Audrey's Place. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here. And be sure to check out more of my other content such as my six minute no cut monologue right here and my Rub Nibinati Jory anti-bullying theme remake video right here. Um, and yeah, please let me know if you guys have any future video ideas. I love to incorporate them and uh, hope everyone is staying safe this quarantine.